Let me show you guys some really useful options that you can add in Windows right click menu or context menu. By adding these options slash tools, you can perform certain Windows tasks easily without going too deep into the settings. You know the deal, right? I know you guys are very smart. Now you can do this by editing a registry keys and all that, but we're gonna do this the easy way, all right? So there is this program called easy context menu so you're gonna have to download this one and also uh, power toys because it also has really cool options that you can add in your right click menu so let's start this with the easy context menu and you can find the download link on my blog post as always so unzip it and after that run it what this program basically does is allows you to add additional options to your right click menu okay so there are different categories. So this is a desktop right click menu. When I uh, right click on it, these are the options that I get. And one more thing, if you're using Windows 11, make sure to use uh, classic Windows right click menu because some of these options doesn't appear on Windows 11 right click menu. You'll have to click on show more options. Now there are different categories. We have desktop context menu again this is the one we have drives context menu folder context menu file context menu and exe context menu let's start this with the desktop one okay there is one really useful tool that you can add which is under tools okay you can enable this to enable everything but since we are just talking about some really useful ones so this one temporary files so as you guys know every now and then we have to clean up our temporary files and we can do that multiple ways we can use command prompt or we can go into the temporary files folder and delete them and all that but we can enable this in desktop context menu and we can click on apply changes to apply and now if i right click on the desktop you can see there is a new option called tools here we have that option delete temporary files so basically i can click on that and the temporary files are gone you also get a notification bottom right side of your screen okay and so on there are many other things that you can add like restart file explorer if that's something you want block mouse and keyboard access if you want these you can add them but Again, as I said, I'm just talking about the useful context menu. So I'm just going to give you guys examples of those that I think are actually useful. Okay. And you can also add some system tools like a task manager to your uh, context menu or registry editor or sticky note. Okay. You got the idea. Even like, yeah, empty recycle bin. We can add that here. Okay. We can right click. We see a system tools. We can empty the recycle bin from here we see the same options for my computer context menu so we're going to skip that now in drives context menu we can add disk cleanup and also uh, defrag let's check those apply now let's go into this pc and right click on the uh, drive any drive here we see a option disk cleanup so we can clean up the disk here or if you want to defrag your drive which i don't recommend you don't have to defrag your drives unless if it's like really old plus hdd since this is a ssd we don't need this option but disk cleanup is actually useful so this will basically launch the disk cleanup utility and you can clean up the disk if that's something you want and you can add change icon so if you want to change the icon of your disk now folder context menu here we can add take ownership option we can check that apply so basically sometime as you guys know uh, we try to delete a file but it says you can't delete it because you are not the owner or something but you want to delete it on that case you can just enable this option and right click on the file or folder that can't be deleted because you don't have the ownership so you can basically uh, click on take ownership and it will automatically make you the owner of that file. You can do this manually, okay? You can go into security and then you can edit the permission or add the user and all that. But with this option, you can just do it with one click. And you can do the same thing for files. You can add ownership for files too. So if there is a file which can't be deleted or moved or edited because you don't have the ownership, you can just 
add this option to that file too and just take the ownership and after that delete edit or whatever you're trying to do and there is this option copy text contents you can enable this so if you work a lot with uh, documents okay text documents especially you can copy contents of that document without opening it by right clicking and here you can see copy text contents so whatever text that is written here will be copied now another useful thing that you can add add to firewall and delete from firewall this is also really useful basically what this does is let's say for example i have this exe file i can right click on it and i can add it to firewall now it can't access the internet so you can do this with any program let's say for example you don't want some program to access the internet yeah you can just right click add that to the firewall and it won't be able to access the internet now if you want to add it to whitelist or remove from firewall or block list you can click on delete from firewall and now it can access the internet now to add even more useful uh, right click menus you can use power toys this is actually a really cool tool it's from the microsoft and it has many useful tools that you can use so we're just going to talk about the right click menu in this video so here what i recommend you guys to do is enable this option file locksmith so what this option does is uh, whenever like you're trying to delete a file or folder if your system tells you that you can't delete this file because there is some other file or folder using it or program using it and you don't know which program is using that file or folder so you can just right click on that file that you're trying to delete and it will give you option here unlock with file locksmith so basically you can click on it and it's going to find the program that is using that file or folder and you can close that process and then you can delete it really useful it happens to me all the time actually <laughs> i'm pretty sure you have also faced this before now let me actually show you guys one more tool that you can use to add even more useful context menus it is called context menu manager this is similar to easy context menu but it is more powerful in some cases and in some cases maybe not it also has the similar functionality actually with this we can add the options like take ownership and all that but you can also remove right click menu options from it like for example i'm gonna right click here i don't want this option here let's say for example add to favorite i don't want that option i can just disable that and now right click add to favorite is gone let's say i don't want defender ui uh, i can just disable that now i if i right click defender ui thingy is gone so this is really useful if you want to do the cleanup okay but if you go into the other rules option here you'll see some useful options similar to easy context menu like the take ownership copy content to clipboard but there are some things that you can add some really useful things like for example optimize drives this is really useful if you have ssd sometimes windows forgets or i don't know gets buggy and doesn't optimize drives or doesn't run trim command so you have to do it manually sometimes so you can add this option to here optimize drives okay and then you can optimize your ssds ssd needs to be optimized all the time frequently okay so just in case if windows doesn't then you can you know you can also find that option pretty easily actually Re go to properties tools and optimize and this one this one is also really useful flush dns you know sometimes we have to run this command on command prompt if we have some internet issues we have to flush the dns which is not that difficult actually we can just command prompt and run the command but with this we can just right click on the this pc and we can click on flush D dns and it will flush the dns and hopefully your internet will work better or work properly it's actually better than the easy context menu because easy context menu only lets you add things but you can't remove so this one you can also add and also remove things from the right click menu yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.